You, you don't plan to see the future. You don't plan, I never in a million years would have paid someone to say that this is what I would be doing at 30 years old in any way. Today I'm with my friends from ECAMI at the Eastern Kentucky Correctional Complex. They are actually breaking ground for a technical institution and bringing CNC machines in to help the inmates that are incarcerated behind me possibly have really great careers once they get out of lockup. Inspiring? Well, it absolutely is, but we're going to hear from some of the people, the warden, the governor, and some of the people who have actually previously been locked up to see how important this movement is for them here in Eastern Kentucky, and hopefully that ripples out across the country as an idea of supporting those who have been incarcerated. Uh, ECAMI is a great opportunity for people to learn uh, trades specifically for what's going on in the community now and the industry. Uh, so the opportunity to train them up in, in useful jobs uh, that will prepare them for, for the future. So uh, that's definitely what's, what's great about ECAMI. Son Harrison uh, is attending the ECAMI program this year, the youth part. We also have uh, two friends of the family who are in the program. The program has been a great opportunity for the young men. They've learned professionalism, social skills, personal appearance, finance, uh, and of course they love the computers and the robotic program. Been in the corrections for 33 years. I've uh, been a warden for the past seven years. And I just, about five years ago, I just wasn't satisfied with what we were doing for incarcerated people to try to help them be successful when they got out of prison. We're an optimistic nation that believes in second chances, new starts with new endings. In Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, the most memorable symbol is the green light, a metaphor for the American belief that anything is possible with grit resilience and hard work. ECAMI has done wonders, has done what I thought would be the impossible to do. Uh, it's given me the skills necessary to be able to go out into a field that is guaranteed to be in demand, that's not just hyped up from community colleges that, yeah, no, you can go get this job. No, you can go get this job. No, it's not there. This is here. The age gap that is coming into the workforce from those that are retiring out to those needing to come in and take their place is, is, is extremely vast. And it's very exciting to be able to be on the forefront and to be a part of that and to inspire future generations to lead the way. I was watching inmates, you know, do their time. And as they're getting released, they, they look at me and say, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. What do I do next? And so having this opportunity to now work with eCami and change lives, you know, with uh, life-changing jobs, you know, financially, uh, emotionally, you know, being able to enjoy what you do is amazing. And given an opportunity for inmates to join us in this curriculum and teach them and show them how to drive CNC machines with GNM codes, you know, to better their selves, to reduce recidivism, to get them, you know, being proud again of accomplishments. And it is just phenomenal. Uh, ECAMI, we are structured, you know, all you need is the can-do attitude, being on time, uh, being positive, and we do everything else. If you have the will, we have the way. Well, this is a project where our faith and values, our belief in forgiveness and second chances, comes together with our workforce development strategy. We've got uh, an economy that is on fire with the largest companies in America picking Kentucky and bringing jobs by the thousands and tens of thousands here. This is a chance, maybe our best chance, uh, to give those that need that second chance employment uh, the best job, the best transportation, the best housing that we have ever been able to, which means it ought to be the best chance at a second chance that so many of these individuals have had. For me, this has been a great program for him because of the confidence that he now has. And he's honestly really excited about the job opportunities. The manufacturers come to eCami on a daily basis and discuss all the job opportunities throughout the country. 
We're so geographically isolated that kids don't realize what's out there in terms of traveling to Texas, Kansas City, Oklahoma, Ohio. Uh, North Carolina is a big one with the Ford company down there. So I'm really uh, grateful for this program and the opportunity it has provided for our kids. Um, coming from various addictions and poor decision-making skills uh, in my younger 20s, uh, everything, you, you don't plan to see the future. You don't plan, I never in a million years would have paid someone to say that this is what I would be doing at 30 years old in any way. This is a special time. It's gonna be a special training facility. It's going to help a lot of people. It is going to bring a lot of families back together, make sure that mom and dad not only get home, but stay home, put those kids on the right track. It is going to make uh, inter and intra generational change. Um, all that there is is to just keep up that mindset of positivity, of manifesting what you want to receive out of life and having to put in the work. Nothing comes for free, nothing comes easy. You have to put in the hard work and it's worth the while to do, to get a return like this, like Ecamia has given me. Believe in redemption, in second chances. But in order for a second chance to be meaningful, people who've paid their debt to society have to be able to pay their bills once they're back in society. To do that in the economy we're building in Kentucky, we need this 21st century job skills and training. So just let me say in conclusion, thank you to Kathy Walker. Thank you to everyone who jumped on camera today. Thank you to what you're doing here in Kentucky to give these guys another chance. I do think it's important that we all come together to create atmospheres and environments for success. I also believe that this is the start of something truly incredible that hopefully has a ripple effect across the country so that everyone can have more hope when they're sitting behind bars in a place like that. Thank you all for watching MTD and stay tuned for the next one.